God. He's about to fuck this club up. What else? I'm, of course, talking about Drake and his new club coming to Houston, damn it. That's what we're talking about today. So Drake earlier had an Instagram announcement and a pop-up shop mm -hmm. where he kind of premiered a nightclub opening in 2017 in none other than Houston, Atlanta, Vegas. And it's going to be a different kind of how it should be. Uh, it's going to be a different take on how it should be done on Houston. That's what okay. he said on Explain. his Instagram. Tell me more. Well... Uh, treat yourself, don't treat... Okay, so I'm going to read you the mystified caption on the Instagram because... And then I want to... I wanna, mystified? I, it's it's mysterious? interesting. Mysterious. Okay. okay. I'm going to read you the... I know, it's because I'm reading it from here. Drake it's is a magician. Drake is now a magician. <laughs> mystified. Um, okay. No, no, no. Hold on. I'm going to read okay, you the okay, caption okay. and I want to hear what you think. Like, what's your take? Okay, I'm going to close okay? my eyes and envision. Okay. Here we are. We're at a nightclub. Treat yourself, don't mm. treat yourself. Treat myself. Where the women are on a pedestal and the surroundings are unforgettable. Oh, I'm afraid. That's it. That's what oh, you Oh, that's get. it? I yeah. thought there was going to be way more of a description. Treat yourself. I'm thinking food. Where the women are on a pedestal, Amazonian tall ladies, uh, and the surroundings are unforgettable. You are the worst lesbian. What? Like how? Like it's 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 probably a different take on a strip club. That's I think that's Maybe what I it's think it is. So different of a take. It's not even a strip club anymore. Like it's like a like a like you know what I like to say when I've been to clubs with where dance where there are women that dance. I <laughs> call it a burlesque dance bar. You just have to change the way you think about it. Okay. Well, it's it's totally different. Two totally different things. Like a strip club is different than a burlesque. Dance right, bar. that's what I'm saying. That's so maybe, a but see, this is called ballet. So ba they must have some sort of a, a like mm -hmm. an elegant. Like it's a, it's a, it's nudist dance dancers. Well, so it's not really. They're not stripping because I don't know. I'm just speculating. Well, here. High Snobiety and uh, Pigeons and Planes, like two really cool publications, have reported that it's probably going to be a strip club. Okay. Um, they're saying while some have described ballet as a strip club, so far Drake has not tagged it. That way, and a spokesperson for the rapper who calls Houston his second home told Billboard that this is not a gentleman's club, but that no other details on the concept were available at press for well, the time. Well, all I can say is that I'm very excited. I've never been to Houston before. Are you um, going to go? Just maybe. to visit? You know, I was actually doing a little bit of research about Drake's connection with Houston because I, I guess I'd forgotten how tied he is to this city. Because I thought it was strange that he would open up a club in Houston and not, I don't know, I was thinking like New York or LA or Atlanta or something. It, yeah. Right, and then I was I did a little bit of research and it was, you know, where he met Lil Wayne. It's where he sold out his first show. And he's actually a major part of the Houston community so much that they have a day named after Drake. Um, what? Yeah, they have Drake Day in Houston. Um, okay, that I did not know. Yeah. And the mayor has like publicly commented about his contributions to Houston. And um, I think that whatever club he's putting together, uh, whether or not it is a strip club or burlesque dance bar or a nudist ballet dancer. A nudist colony. Um, I think that it, you know, I think that he would absolutely do something that would honor Houston, that would bring business to Houston. So I, I don't think that this is going to be a sleazy nightclub adventure for sure. But beyond that, I can only speculate because like I illustrated, I think very oddly before, um, I, the, the descriptions are vague. Yeah, I, and he even further uh, said that this is about the fact that there's a culture out there of dancing and it's not about no strip club shit. Uh, it's really just Wait, about these amazing... Again? It's not about no strip club shit. That's a clue. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> it's really just about these amazing women that we've got in one spot, this music that we've got, this Houston culture that we got, and I just want to let you know that I'm going to bring it to you in the most honest and genuine way possible. Now... Um, when you look at Drake's music, one of the things I particularly appreciate is that he does genuinely want to empower women. Usually, he's the love-struck guy. Um, we've went uh, back and forth on this, like me, Mir, and Anna in the past, about how his last song um, from the from his latest album, um, what? No, not Hotline Bling, dude. Oh yeah, Hotline Bling. You're right. Uh, in Hotline Bling, we were thinking like, is it misogynist? Is Drake being kind of a misogynist in that song or not at all? I don't, I'm of the mindset that Drake is not being a misogynist in that song at all. And he is in the very Drake nature, still putting women on a pedestal, celebrating them mm -hmm. and saying like, I love you. Well, Things look at who changed. he says he's been in love with since he was 22 years old, Rihanna. That yeah. is one f***ing strong ass independent woman. Like that's yeah. not, I mean... So, yeah, I, I definitely, I wouldn't consider Drake a misogynist, but 
I don't see how that would play into him opening a club. Well, we're, I mean, if it's a strip club, then you have to think about these sort of things, the You're intention, right? right? Like that was his the track record that shows, didn't yeah, that. the track record for Drake shows that he is genuinely like the kind of person that likes to empower women. Yeah. So I think this could be a very interesting concept, more so than just like a club or a strip club or anything that we've seen before, in a yeah. sense that what if it was like a strip club that empowered women? Mm, in a different way. Like, yeah. what would the take be? That's what I'm trying to figure out. They put their clothes on, <laughs> but, like, sexy. You know what I mean? Like, ooh, like, look at this parka. Like, you know what, what? I mean? <laughs> like, mm. ooh. <laughs> Can I just say really quickly, though, when you were talking about empowering women, uh, and you were talking about the strip club, and you're like, no, a strip club doesn't, or does, a lot of times people say that it doesn't empower women, blah, blah, blah. So what the, what happened in my brain, and I just thought it was funny, so I was going to share with you. Uh, what happened was the the girl that likes girls in me was just like, what? Like, whatever. Like, it's girls are naked. That's great. And then the girl, the girl part of me that's a girl was like, oh, but women's rights. Like, it's weird how that's like, there's like a duality. I'm like, because I like, I, mean, I, I want to respect women, but I also like, you know, I respect women. So I don't know. It's, <laughs> it's. <laughs> ladies, like, ladies, but also ladies. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, no, no, no. It is. It's like, it's like, ladies, but then it's also like, ladies, come on. <laughs> like, I don't know. What are we doing here? All right, but we want to know what you guys think. There's a lot of speculation around this new club. What do you think it is? We want to hear from you in the comment section below. I know. I'm Hassan Pike, this is Grace Baldridge, and we'll see you next time on Pop Trigger.